my name is Steve and I am a Stonewall Gamer. Um, two things, it's the 1st of November, so um, guys, November, get those stashes out. I'm going to be uh, growing mine out, so get rid of the crappy beard, but uh, November's here, so it's a good cause. Everyone get those stashes going. And secondly, I apologise for the last video. Um, I drove down from Birmingham, I had to do a hell of a lot of playing FM to get two episodes ready so I could like have a little bit of a break and I was exhausted and it definitely showed I was monotonic and yeah if you don't watch it I do not blame you because I got bored after five minutes anyway we've played a hell of a lot of football today as well FM today we are at the Bayern um, game we are away to start with let's see how we've been doing it's um it's not been great, I'm not going to lie. Ready? Right. The last game you saw would have been the loss to Fenerbahce. Fenerbahce, however the hell you want to say it. Fenerbahce. 3-0 um, win to Granada. Um, nice and simple, happy days. Uh, we then finished the fourth round leg off at Ponferida. Drew to Malaga, lost to Corona, who were um, fourth at the time. Lost to Real Madrid 3-1 in the uh, Cup. Lost to Vigo 3-1 in the league. Beat Real Madrid 5-2 to overcome uh, the first away def deficit. Then Villarreal in the league 4-4. Um, then we beat them in the Cup 3-1. Real, Real San Sebastian we won 2-1 in the league. Then we lost to Villarreal 5-0. Now, it was a, a B team because we were 3-1 up. And, uh, well, you know, we had Barcelona next. so But 5-0 is disgusting. Um, we then held 1-1 Barcelona. They got a goal in the 79th minute. Now, if you've... Uh, oh, actually, I'll go back to that in a minute. Um, Levante, we won 4-1. And Las Palmas, we finally beat them 3-0. Now, if you have been paying attention to any of these, you'll notice that we do have Romelu Lukaku. But also, we've brought in Danny Welbeck. Now, I'm just going to quickly go through the transfers and explain what's going on. Um, right, where are we? So, outs. Obviously, you know about Griezmann and Jimenez. Off they went. We um, pumped that money back into the club. Now, Saul started kicking off, saying that he wanted to join PSG. They put an offer in, and I thought, well, he needs replacing. Who do I want? And I saw this guy, Jesse, Jesse. Um, good, decent bit of potential. He's very versatile. The only thing I don't like is that he's not very good in the middle however he's an advanced playmaker his stats are pretty bloody good so I'd put him there anyway personally so he come in as a part exchange for Saul um, Danny Welbeck purely a backup it's it's that simple he is just going to be a backup and I've got him on a rotation um, contract 20 million uh, 20 and a half so yeah again backup he's not really playing that much, but he is doing well. I brought in Nathan Smith. Now, for anybody playing, I would say, Championship, or I'm probably going to bring this guy in for my Rangers, because he cost me £5 million only because I'm Atletico and I've got the money, and he was at Port Vale. Now, look at some of his stats. The I know he's only two-star in this team, but we're a Champions league finalists so you can't really you know take that away from him he's at Port Vale and he's a good all round as I said probably not Premier League but Championship maybe um, and he's got the potential there to maybe even go on further so he is a backup he's not really had a great time of it but you know it's he's still young so how old is he actually? 21, so he's got some growing up to do. Uh, Laporte, you know about Lukaku, you know about um, 
Jan Ishfa again it's a, a backup to the backups um, 16 year old German good all rounder to an extent uh, let's just click on him so you can see as you can see he is like all up this ring all up at the right hand side he can play anywhere he's pretty quick uh, he's, he's okay he's more, I would prefer him to be a midfield a winger rather than a uh, defender because of his marking his tackling's not bad but his concentration's mm, again but he's just there as an absolute worst case scenario and that is it for the transfers now we are currently sitting fourth in the league um, joint points with Vigo two points away from Barcelona so we're not having a bad season we've had a couple of spells where it's been a bit dodgy we've drew too many games this year but Vigo are on fire again and they want that top four spot uh, Barcelona have been poor and Real Madrid are just bombing it away again so there's not much we can really do with that uh, Dybala's top goal scorer Messi, see we can't even get on this board Villarreal is who's this, Bakambu he doesn't he's off the ball's great, he'd be a nice a very good poacher and he's quite quick but other than that I think he's just, Villarreal just playing well anyway that's all that there's nothing else to catch you up on. Um, we've just signed another contract for Gaetan. As I said, this is going to be the last season with Atletico. Now, if we do get knocked out, I'm going to concentrate on getting everything ready for Rangers. So, there may be a couple of days with no um, videos. Unless you've got a very short term, like we could do one of the challenges or something, maybe. Um, we'll see, we'll see. It's hopefully we don't have to even worry about it. So, <clears throat> Bayern today. We are away to start with. Gabby is on a red. Is on a suspension. Carrasco is injured. Right. With Lukaku joining, we've decided to go over to this uh, four-two-three-one. We seem to be doing very well attacking. Um, right, Gaetan. I want to move you into the middle. Danny Welbeck cannot play. No, Mensa. Yeah, who's this? What's right? Philippe Luis got homesick. Um, I said I'd buy somebody to, you know, help you out. Recom he recommended somebody, and nothing happened. They, the I couldn't buy him for some reason. So now he's kicking off and everyone's looking out for him. It's just one thing after another with this, isn't it? I and mean, it's not a lot you can do about it. But Thiago Maya in you go, son. Um, no Carrasco, which is painful. Lingard's going to go on the right. And we're going to put Career in. Right, so Gamiro's on the bench. Uh, Lukaku's been in form I'll show you him in a minute just let me decide who's gonna come on to the bench Gajoni I think um yeah Lukaku's doing quite well uh, he's played six games scored two one assist in the cup he's played two scored three one assist so it took him a couple of games to like you know get in get into the swing of things they've gotten down best as a target man I personally think other than his vision and his passing He's a good, complete forward. Um, I might end up going like two up front with Lukaku and Gamero. Lukaku being a target man and uh, Gamero pushing forward as a poacher. But for now, this this is what we're going to be doing. Let me just double check to make sure we've got everyone. Yes, we have. Right. Let's do this. Good luck, Atletico. Good luck. <clears throat> Porto are also playing Juventus on the same day. Let's have a look at this team. Lewandowski up front, Coleman on the left and Muller on the right. Thiago and Vidal in the middle. Kimmich just behind. Uh, Alaba on the left. Hummels in, and uh, Boateng in the middle. Lam on the right and of course Neuer in goal. That is a dangerous team. 
They don't seem to have too much on the bench. Uh, they've got Alonso there. Uh, Yavi Martinez is good. Let's just see what happens. We're away. We could do... I, I would accept a a draw with goals. Um, do we really want to never type mark him? Okay. I've got faith in you. Um, yeah, a draw with goals or a win, of course. But if we are going to lose this, I want a 2-1. I want that away goal because it's going to be vital. So, team talk done. Let's do this. They kick off. Nice and easy now. We're not rushing through three games. You're going to get the two games as usual. So I'll be showing you all the games. No cutting up. All right, Thiago Maia, Koke, Godin, Laporte, Maia. Passing around nicely. Decides not to run forward. Koke, Gaten, Lukaku, who's just given it away there. Vidal's hoofed it up to Lewandowski. He's done Perrin. Um, <clears throat> Perrin's not been the keeper that I wanted him to be, to be honest with you. Um, I kind of wish I'd brought your heart in for the experience, but you live and learn, don't you? Uh, Lewandowski, all on his own. Uh, phew, yeah, I'm not going to you know, pay too much attention to that. So, right, they've kicked off straight away. Career, career to Lukaku, go on. Right, Lam's tackled him. Lewandowski's, Lewandowski's isolated, but he's... At the same time, they're give, getting it to him. Lam again. Lewandowski, it's over. Um, I'm thinking we need to push the defence up. As I said, guys, um, if you do like me showing all this, let me know because I don't know whether to leave it in or not. But it's on you. If you like it, I like showing it here so you've got my thought process. And, oh, they've got the corner. Philippe Luis clears it. Laporte does... Well, sort of a job. Thiago, Muller. Oh, it's in. And that's the sort of thing I mean about Purin. He's, um... He just seems to have butterfingers. He really does. He's sometimes, some games he's absolutely superb. But then he just... Things like that. It's just poor, isn't it? You can't... He's not a Champions League winner goalkeeper, unfortunately. But uh, we've got the ball now. Laporte. Right, why are they just hoofing it up? I know I'm mixed. Pass into space, that's what it is. Let's get rid of the exploit left and the pass into space. Let's speed this stuff up. Uh, close down sometimes. Let's see if we can like take control of, uh, at least a little bit. Laporte. Koke. Maya. Lingard. Gives it to Lukaku, who's isolated. Gaetan. Might need two up front. Korea. Oh... Lukaku doesn't seem to be getting the support that I want him to get. Muller, Lewandowski, back to Muller. Oh, Luis, you pleb! Oh, why? Looks like they've got a penalty. There was no need for that, and Vidal's pulling it away. It's 3 0. I can't be doing with trying to come back and all the rest of it again it, it's so emotional guys it really was last year and to not win it was devastating uh, the fact that I know I've only got one more year as well so I've gone and splashed out the cash on players oh it just kept off. what the hell am I meant to do oh my god right Lingard in the middle Bring in Mensa. Changed career for a winger support. Right, maybe that's why Lukaku's not getting the support. I'm actually going to make him a target man. Hit early crosses. Retain possession. And be more expressive. We've got a free goal deficit in 30 minutes. Philippe Luis is down to a 6.1. Lewandowski has beat whoever that is in the air. Koke tackles. Vidal's passed it through to Muller. Oh no. No, no, no. Count out. I... Oh. Vidal's done brilliantly there. Poor defending. Who are you? Koke. He's... Yeah, okay. He's coming back to help. 
the, the defense is so weak. If if I was continuing this, I'd completely revamp the defense, other than maybe Godin. But even he he's a bit. It looks like we got the second season blues, guys. Um, our first season was a good one. Bernard Gaetan, and it's not doing anything with it. Go to it. Coman's running at us. Lewandowski and Godin's now put. put I'm going to rip my hair out in a minute. We're down to 10 men. We've given two penalties away. Muller puts it in. 5-0 in 35 minutes. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Right. <sighs> Absolute idiots. Idiots. That's what they are. I miss Griezmann. Really do, guys. I miss Griezmann. Um, we'll bring Jesse on on the wing as Gaten. Um, actually, all right, the Kaku for Gamero. That's what's happening here. We're going to leave this exactly as it is. Let's. Uh, right, no to that. Let's play wide. Counter. Oh my god. It's just. Gay 10 6.3. Godin's on a 5.7 now. Luis is on a 5.8. Absolutely atrocious. I've done two subs in the first half because they are that bad. Right, let's give them a bollock in. And I hope we can do something here. Let's really hope Laporte go. This isn't going to be anything, is it? Right, we've got a corner. Coke. Come on. I, we would. I would need three, three goals now to give us half a chance. If not, I think we're out. For I cannot see us scoring four or five, even at home, not against Bayern. Alaba, Golden clears, Golden clears again. To come to Vidal. They're just playing with us. They look at this, uh, Coman. It's it's almost Barcelona esque. It's just tip ticky tacker football, and I've only got one sub left, and I don't know whether to go Godin or Louis, Louis Philippe Luis Bernard gives it to Gaetan, who's running, and Korea's missed it. That's what we need to be doing: missing clear cut chances when we're five 0 down. Lucas is just as bad as Luis, that's the problem. But that's what I'm going to do. We've used all three subs, we're down to 10 men. We're 5 0 down. Is there any point in recording the second leg for you guys? I think you know how this is going to end. I will be playing until the end of the season, so um, I may chuck in a couple of uh, actual league games in there for you guys to watch. That might be a thing. New oh. But it's, it doesn't look good, does it? Coman's got the ball. They're coming at us again. Hummels. Okay. And 10 minutes. Let's just try and get an away goal. It'll probably be six now, but, you know. Gaetan. Laporte knocks it in and Koke scores. We've got one away goal, so... Maybe I should have gone overload from half time, eh? Oh my god, this is this is embarrassing. That's what this is. We've gone from amazing tactics against Tottenham to bring it around to losing five one to Bayern in the first knockout leg. We were, and that is it. It's five one. Disappointing is not the word. So, what I'm going to do now for you guys, right, send the assistant. I'm going to play the next four games and I'll uh, meet you back in a second. Um, a terrible 5 1 defeat against Bayern. It's not been going well since. Um, we lost to Katafi 2 0. We lost to Bilbao 3 0. We managed to scrape a win against Real Hispalis. And we lost to our Alaves. Um, we've got Bayern again today. I'm not confident. I really do think Jimenez, Griezmann, and even Saul, despite him being a backup, we're missing them. 
And um, I think Perrin's not the goalkeeper I sh- that I wanted. I should have held out for Joe Hart, but at the time I needed a goalkeeper because our black was just gone. Um, Thiago Maia is suspended for this game. I'm playing a diamond. I've not played this before. I'm just going for it. Um, we're playing Lucas and Yofran as wing backs, Godin and Laporte as um, defence centre backs. Gabby is the defensive midfielder. Koke is the deep line playmaker. Um, Mensa Bernardo is doing really well lately um, as the uh, advanced playmaker. Trek is Gaetan. And Gamero and Lukaku is a poacher and the complete forward. Um, Carrasco is on the bench as well as Lingard. So if we want to use wingers, we can. But I want to, let me just change this up a little bit. I want to go really narrow. I want to hit them hard, hit them fast. And I, I just don't want to... Um, I don't want to go out. I really don't. But this is what we're going to play. We're going to concentrate on that middle. And hopefully burst through. Uh, we've got a lot of quality in that middle there. So it's can Perrin hold back? Can you know? We don't know. We don't know. But we're going to find out. Um, I have decided that we probably are going to go out. So uh, if we do go out, next episode is going to be Real Madrid, and then what we'll do, we'll play the last two games of the season. So that will bring us up to Friday. So Friday's episode won't be a Rangers episode. It will be the last Atletico uh, save. And then what we'll do, we'll start the uh, the Rangers save. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get amongst it. Bayern, we need a 4-0 win. Um, they're going low and Dasky up front. Coleman on the left. Uh, Sanchez, Renato Sanchez on the uh, in the middle with, with Vidal. Muller uh, on the right pushed back a bit. Uh, it's almost like this is going a bit diagonal. Look, they're scared of the left hand side maybe, but we're going through the middle. So, um, Kimmich just be- behind Alaba, Hummels, Botan, and Lam is the back line, and Newer in goal. Four 0 please. <laughs> um, it's not going to happen. It's really not going to happen. But we're taking this off straight away. That's the load of crap. He was so quick. Right. Avenge what happened against Bayern. I did do a team talk and got the morale up a little bit, but then they kept losing. So I, I just think they fell apart. I think the fact that we didn't have the money to strengthen like we wanted to, and everyone picking apart our team and upsetting everybody, there was no way we were going to do anything. Um, I don't understand why. Oh my God, it's 35 minutes. I don't understand why like Griezmann, Jimenez, so wanted to leave. We were in the Champions League final. Um, we're on control now. Gabby with the free kick. Gaetan, Lewandowski takes it and runs at us. Yofran goes for the tackle. Oh, Lucas with a beautiful tackle there. Passes it to Bernard, to Lukaku. Okay, uh, Lucas gets the ball. Right, passes it to Bernard. Lukaku, Gabby, Lukaku again, Gamiro, 1-0, it's not possible is it, it's not, is it, is it, is it really possible, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like it's possible, but Lukaku slots that through, lovely to Gamiro, beautiful move, and just slides it through, off the post, 1-0, can we get three more? It is half time, so um, my first thing, my first uh, answer would be no, but we'll see, we'll see. Now uh, um, we are on control. I might go to attack in. Let's just push it a bit further, and we need uh, we need a goal by sixty minutes. Wow, which is there. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go Mensa and put Gaten on the right no Gaten can go on the left and mm, Lingard who's faster 15 uh, acceleration 15 pace and Heise yes eh? uh, 14 15 not much really. what about like finishing crossing 12 13 
crossing 10, finishing 14 right. You're going to go in as an inside forward attack. Uh, Koke go in the middle. I know this is a bit unconventional, but... And we're going to now use the wings. We're still playing it out of defence. We're going to hit early crosses and play wide. Because we've still got Yofran and Lucas running forward. Right, Philippe Luis can come on for Lucas. I don't need any red cards. Uh, Philippe Luis has decided he's homesick, so he's kicking off lately. Um, I don't know what happened there. He's, it, yeah, I told, as I mentioned, he's just homesick. Um, anyway, Koke tries to give it to Luis, but Galson gets it. He's uh, taking his time running up the wing, but he is getting there. Sanchez, right, Vidal. They're just take, they're, they're keeping the ball as much as they can, and it shows in the possession stat. Kimmich, Galson, Vidal, Sanchez to Lewandowski. Ooh, he's missed. Right, we're going to go very fluid. Let's get it a bit more. That fluid. Come on, we need another goal now to give us half a chance. It's not going to happen, though. It's really not. Um, moral victory here. 75 minutes gone. It's ticking away. Why couldn't we play it like this at Bayern? Why? And the time's ticking down. Gabby with the free kick. And goes in straight to Neuer. <sighs> Looks like our Champions League is uh, over and... This challenge is a fail. So, I wasn't able to get... I had two seasons. Um, I wasn't able to win the Champions League with Atletico. I really thought it was uh, possible, but as the last highlight continues, Lewandowski's got it. Fidel. And to be honest, I don't even... We're not going to win the league. Real Madrid are flying away with it. There we go. We are out. Um, losing this tie should never have been an option. Yeah, but I can't fault your effort. Oh, they're not. I'll oh, do one. <sighs> I'm not interested with you. Yeah, yeah um, the odds of us winning the league is uh, very slim. But I will show you the two games just to give you some closure on the uh, on the save. But there's not much more for the Champions League, unfortunately. I, I won't be surprised if I actually have to meet the boards now. Okay, guys, that's the end of that episode. Um, no Champions League football, no Champions League win. Uh, that 5-1 was always going to screw us over, and that's exactly what it did. I'll see you back for the Real Madrid game, and... Uh, yeah, there's nothing else to say. If you like what you see, which you shouldn't, but leave a like on the comment for the for the video, not for Atletico, because they've been terrible this year. If you want to see the Rangers and um, the rest of this Atletico save, subscribe. And try and let me know where I went wrong. I personally think I should have held firm with Jimenez, Griezmann, maybe Saul, but I think we've, um, I think the big one was Oblak. We couldn't do anything about it. We wasn't ready for it. Um, I think him going was a big, big, big loss. Anyway, I'll start yakking now. Enjoy.